Hello students, this video is for 11 science. Um, I hope you have seen my first video regarding the botany uh, first part. I am Shayantani Roy and I will take your botany class as I have told you already. And I will be your class teacher as well. Okay, so I will look after your problem. So if you are having any such problems then obviously communicate with me. And if you are having any problem regarding the subject, so please do comment in the video. Now, as I have done the, uh, the two parts of the chapter Science of Life and today my video is about Taxonomy and Systematics. This is the second chapter of your Botany Syllabus. So, uh, this is the chapter of Taxonomy and uh, Systematics. So, let's not waste any more time and let's just start with the chapter. Now, we'll go to the comparison study of systematics and taxonomy. So, first of all, we'll go with the taxonomy. As you have read in class uh, 9 also, that taxonomy refers to the classification of the organisms in biology. That means proper classifying the organisms properly. Whereas systematics not only refers to the classification of the organisms but it also deal with their study and with the evolutionary relationships of the organisms. That is it is much more broader concept. Okay. Next is the taxonomy. It is a branch of the systematics. Whereas the systematics it actually studies as I have told you that it studies the relationships, the evolutionary tracks of those organisms. Next is that taxonomy involved what? Classification and naming and grouping of those organisms. That means it is classifying, identifying the organisms, naming them, grouping them. Whereas uh, systematics involved in the classification and naming as well as Cladistics and phylogenetics. That means their total overall studies of the organisms is included in the systematics portion. Next is that uh, the taxonomy does not deal with the evolutionary history. It does not deal. It only studies the present form of the organisms, identifying them, grouping them, naming them particularly. Whereas the systematics obviously it studies with the evolutionary facts or the evolutionary history of those organisms next is that taxonomy can change with further studies okay if the if there are new species have been evolved then they can be grouped under a specific phylum or specific taxon okay but this systematics this does not change with any more further studies so this is all about the uh, comparison or overall a small comparison between taxonomy and syst systematics Next, we will read about the systematic position of the human beings, that is us, okay. As you can see, the largest taxon is the kingdom. And in uh, our uh, systematic position, the kingdom of us is animalium. Next, our phylum is chordata. Chordata is what? Chordata, that means the organisms or the individuals who are having the vertebral column or the notochord are designated under the phylum chordata. So, after kingdom animalia, the uh, next phylum is that chordata. Next is class. Class is our mammalia. Okay, that means we are mammals. Our body is covered with hair. Okay, we are having mammary glands. That's why we fall under the class mammalia. Next is that the order. Order is primate. Okay. That is uh, the mammals with forward looking eyes and grasping fingers. That means those who have the vision towards the front and have the grasping. That means we can grasp anything. Okay. Next position is that family which is hominidae. Okay. That is we are having flat face and binocular vision. Okay, monocular vision, binocular vision you have read in class 10. So, binocular vision means with the two eyes we see the same ob object. Okay, next is that genus. Genus is homo. Okay, our genus is homo. That is uh, the ones with the large brain and upright and erect posture are categorized under the homo genus. And our species is the sapiens. Over here you can see sapiens. 
we are having bipedal locomotion and higher cap uh, higher intelligence level that is why we fall under the species of the sapiens so this is the uh total classification of the human being or the systematic position of the human being now we will read about the systematic position of the pea plant okay why i have chosen this pea plant because obviously it is given in your book as well as you have read about pea plant a lot in class 10 while performing the mendelian crosses so that's why i have chosen the pea plant so let's start with it first of all the kingdom that is the largest taxon is plantae okay phylum is angiospermae okay class that is the dicotyledony dicotyledony means that means they are having two cotyledons that is why the word di okay order rosales family papilionesi genus is pisum species is sativum so pisum sativum is the scientific name of the garden pea or you can say normally the pea plant and this is the total systematic position of the pea plant now we will read about the binomial nomenclature by the word by means to okay the word by means to nomenclature means to give the names okay now uh this was first this binomial nomenclature was first derived by whom by carolus linnaeus okay and uh, what is it's composed of that means the particular species or the organism is being given this uh, name which is having two parts okay one generic name and one specific name so giving a specific name or giving a name to the species which is having two parts scientifically that name is termed as the binomial nomenclature now there are certain rules of the binomial nomenclature so first one is that the entire name must be written in italics okay and uh, when it is being written in the computer or typed it is being written in italics and when it is handwritten it should be underlined separately okay next number 2 the genus is always written first okay the genus should be written first that means a generic name and this generic name must be capitalized that means the first letter of the generic name should be written in the capital letter next is that the specific name that the specific epithet that means the first letter of the specific name should never be in capital letter it should be in small letter okay the name or abbreviated name of the scientist describing the species for the first time should be written after the binomial like pseudomonas syringae y hall that means the uh, scientist who has given this name his name should be written or abbreviation of his name should be written at the last of the at the last portion of the uh, scientific name or the binomial name next is that to avoid confusion the same binomial name should not be used to two different species that means two different species or two different organs organisms should not have the same name okay next is that the year in which organism was described should be written after the name of the author that means just over here you have seen na, that the name of the scientist is written after the name of the organism so the year in which he has given that name that year should written should be written beside his name okay so these are the certain rules of the binomial nomenclature so we will see about law of priority homonyms and synonyms so law of priority by the word priority means that means it is giving prioritized okay so what happens the name of genus starts with a capital letter whereas the specific name starts with the small letter now when two or more names are given correctly to a plant or animal then the names used by the first author is approved and the others will be rejected that means suppose scientist a has given one name to the uh, plant or the animal scientist b has given another name scientist c has given another name but the one scientist who has given the name uh, who has named it for the first time that name will be taken in consideration that name will be giving the or will be taking all the concern or all the priorities so this is termed as the law of priority and the others and the other 
names which are given by the other scientists will be rejected. So this is about the law of priority. Now we will go to the homonyms and synonyms. Now what are homonyms? What happens? When one particular name is given to two different taxon. Now what is taxon? Taxon is the unit of the taxonomic hierarchy. So what are the taxon you can see? Kingdom, phylum, class, order. So these are the different taxon. So these are being named differently. No two taxon should be having the same name because it could create very much confusion. Okay. Now suppose two different taxon are being named in a same name. Okay, given the same name. So what will happen? The first taxon which was given that name, that taxon will only have that name. The other will not have it. That name will be rejected. And those names other than the first one, those names are termed as the homonyms. Got it? Now we will go to the synonyms. That means synonyms is what? That means uh, an organism is having a particular scientific name or binomial name okay now apart from that particular name another name is given to that organism so that new name which is being given to that organism though it is having a particular specific name okay that new name is the synonym of the of that organism okay that means simply a an organism is having more than one name or two names okay so the main name that means the name which was given first that will be its real name and the other names which will be given later that will be the synonyms okay now we will go about key what is key so what is this key key is a systematic tabulation of the diagnostic characters of organisms with a sequence of class at each level in diachotomous couplets facilitating rapid identification for classification so what is key key is nothing but it is the main source for segregating different organisms for identifying different organisms and then grouping them so key is the process by which different organisms different individuals are being segregated grouped under and being named in a particular way it is a sequence of the uh, classification and the identification process so this is all about the chapter i hope it is uh, you have understood it okay though if you are having any problem please do ask me in the comment section okay thank you